Hey there, folks. Welcome. Elder Law Care Attorney Patrick Kelleher coming to you from elderlawcare.com. Folks, today's question that I'm going to answer is, how do you choose your executor or today's terminology, your personal representative or your trustee or the legal terminology, your fiduciary or the layman's terminology, your helper? How do you choose your helper, your executor, personal representative, trustee, fiduciary for your will? for your trust, maybe even for your power of attorney or healthcare proxy. Folks, Elder Law Care Attorney Patrick Kelleher coming to you from elderlawcare.com. Folks, you may know me from the, as being the author of How to Avoid the Four-Headed Monster of Estate Planning and Elder Law, which is the metaphorical four big things that folks are looking to avoid, which are probate court, the estate death tax, financial creditors and predators, and that private pay nursing home as well. Folks, I'm going to answer today how to choose your personal representative executor for your will or your trust. So let's get started. From my experience, folks, I often advise our clients that you are the expert on the family. Your estate elder law attorney should be the expert on the law. And then you should work with your estate elder law attorney to develop, engineer, create, and design your estate plan, your trust, your will, your, what I refer to as your big six disability planning to meet your goals, your dreams, your vision, your dream snapshot. So even if the legal language is technically sound, the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, it's essential, critical importance for you as the client to pick and choose the proper, most suitable trustee, executor of your choosing because your estate plan's success depends on it. Really, really important, folks. So again, to reiterate, you are the expert on the family. Really important for you to do some soul searching, to do some reflection, to think about family relations. If you're looking to appoint a child or a loved one, think about that person's qualifications. They may have business acumen and a skill set to cross T's and dot I's, but I want to take you on a journey and explain to you that it goes beyond that from my experience. Because if we had the occasion working with families over the years, they may choose a family member who's an attorney, an accountant, a financial professional, and they have the proper acumen to oversee your estate after you pass away, but you also, in my opinion, need to choose someone who also has the other skill set to keep family relationships in check as you journey through that probate administration or trust administra administration process, okay? So I talk about this in one of my programs. From my experience, the three keys to picking a suitable executor or trustee or personal representative are the following. Number one, you wanna pick someone who has diplomatic skills where they can communicate with all the family members properly and appropriately. That they have excellent communication skills, okay? Number one. Number two, that they're gonna be transparent with all beneficiaries involved in the estate. They're going to demonstrate transparency to all individuals in the estate, letting everyone have a voice in the matter. It's part of the grieving process, part of the mourning process when a loved one passes away, especially a parent. So there's gonna be a period of time where the loved ones, the children, are gonna be grieving it, mourning, and it's important that everyone have a voice so they can have closure and properly heal from the loss of a loved one. We've seen the cases where you might have an executive, personal representative, and they're in charge and they keep everything confidential, they keep everything discreet, and then they might share some information with chosen family members who are beneficiaries, but they intentionally and deliberately choose to leave out of the conversations and to leave out of the meetings other family member beneficiaries for their own personal reasons. That sometimes, folks, can stir up family animosity, hurt feelings, uh, misunderstanding and confusion for all parties. And that can prolong and maybe even exacerbate 
the grieving process for the loved ones involved. So the three takeaways that I advise my clients, when you're picking your suitable trustee, executor, personal representative, or fiduciary, yes, it's important to assess and evaluate their acumen and their skill set to handle the business matters and the estate matters that go along with that function and that job. But it's also important to make sure you're picking a person with the right personality, the right character, uh, the proper integrity and skill set where they're going to demonstrate the three big things such as good communication with all beneficiaries and parties involved. Number two, transparency, transparency. And number three, respect. They're going to demonstrate the equal amount of respect to all parties involved. They're going to remove their ego or their personal agenda from the equation. Because guess what, folks? That role of executor, personal representative, trustee, that legal name for those roles is called a fiduciary. The legal definition of a fiduciary is that fiduciary has the highest duty of loyalty per trust in a state law to act in the best interest of whom? the beneficiaries, the beneficiaries, and that's not themselves, to act in the best, best interest of the beneficiaries, to follow the terms and conditions in the trust, in the will, and to act objectively and professionally and communicate with good communication, good transparency, and mutual respect to all parties involved and not just to a select or chosen few. So there you have it, folks. The three takeaways there on how to pick a good, suitable, trusty, personal representative, executor, or fiduciary, or what I like to say to our clients when we're designing their trust, your helpers, okay? So keep that in mind, folks. It's more than just skill set. It's skill set dealing with relationships as well. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and your loved ones. If so, please scroll down, leave a comment, post a question, and follow us because we will keep you updated with other important estate planning and elder law affairs. Folks, attorney Patrick Kelleher at elderlawcare.com. Thanks for joining us.